Okay, we're going to learn a couple of other interactive elements that can uh, help you create uh, an animation or interactive art or whatever you want. Um, we're going to learn a little bit more about using the mouse to move things around and we're going to um, also learn about using keystrokes to move uh, objects around the screen. So first of all, I've got this um, script here. Uh, we're still using graphics. We have our window and I'm keeping it simple. This could be uh, any shape, but I've just made a simple circle. I draw the circle to the window um, and then I have this loop and this is just for demonstration purposes, but generally you do put these kinds of things in a loop of some kind while something is true. In this case, this loops forever. Um, and I get my um, XY coordinates from my mouse. Um, I wait a little bit and then um, my circle will move to that location. So let me demonstrate that. So I have my circle in the middle of the screen and my program, you can see this, is sitting on this. It's waiting for my mouse click. So I'm going to click and then it's going to move to that location. It waits just a second before it moves, which is kind of a nice effect. Um, so you could create something where um, the person has to click on something and it sends your little character over to that little area um, or any number of things like that. So that's kind of a, a fun uh, effect. And as you saw in the last video where we have the, we could have this um, following the mouse if you used um, a get mouse now. Um, in fact, we can demonstrate that really quickly. I have over here a get mouse now. And again, I have a wait, which is nice because then it just, it just creates a nice effect. And what this will do is it will, uh, it will follow the, um, the mouse around, which um, you might want to do for a particular reason. So as I move my mouse around the screen, it follows. And there are games out there that you can play where you're using the mouse to move your, your character around. Um, so you can use that. So that's that effect. Let's stop that. Okay. Now I'm going to show you um, how to use keystrokes to move your object around the screen. I'm going to put this in my loop now. This is a, a set of, um, of if statements that I have in here to move our uh, circle around the screen. So I'm using get key pressed and under windows you'll find this. So there's get key pressed and I've set that to a variable called key. Let me just drag this up so you can see this a little bit better. Um, and the key, it has a name. Each key has a name and um, you can actually figure out what those are, um, but generally they're pretty obvious. So I get the key pressed and then I check to see which key is pressed. And so these are the arrow keys that I've used. Um, you could use letter keys, in which case um, you would be putting, instead of left here, you would put a W um, or an, whatever you want to put in there. Um, so you can use that uh, not only to move things around, but to make other things happen if you want. So if the W key is pressed, um, you know, maybe a particular image is drawn or the character moves from one place to another, whatever you want to do with that. Sometimes people enjoy um, having uh, having people uh, be able to press keys and have things happen. Um, interesting, unexpected things. So uh, these are the if statements which are under control. So we're going, we, I have typed in here um, if key is equal to left and equal to remember is double equals and then it's going to go um, backwards. It's going to go negative 10. So this move statement it's under actions and it is the move dx dy, the shape dx dy. Um, so you're going to move it by negative 10 pixels, which is to the left, and you're not going to move it up and down, which makes sense. That's what you would expect. And likewise, I have right, which uses positive 10, 
Um, so I've got my x here as 10, my dx down here, you can see that. And up and down, similar, except we, we change our y's. So in, in y to go up is negative, and to go down is positive. So let's see how that works. All right, so there's my circle, and I'm going to press the right key. So it goes to the right, and now the left key, it goes back to the left. And then if I want to go up, it goes up. And if I want to go down, it goes down. So you can see that you could create some interesting um, effects with that. So, um, so those are move your characters around the screen. And if you wanted to add uh, something to that, let's take this um, out of here for a second. And let's put our following the mouse around because that would create a more interesting effect. So there is um, this pen down and pen up thing. So what we could do is um, draw something around the screen as our um, as our object moves and that can create kind of a spirograph or drawing effect. So let's um, see what that effect is. Ah, voila! Now it doesn't create curves, it creates angles because that's what the pen does. It always depends on angles. But you could imagine having someone drag an object. You can make this a really teeny tiny dot so that they don't even really see it. Um, let's stop that. And it has a pen. 